I think NFTs are one of the dumbest things on the internet, and that's not a term I throw around just willy-nilly. You gotta remember, the internet is the same place that TikTok exists on, so they have some stiff competition. And I definitely need to preface this video by saying I am in no way a financial expert. At the end of the day, it's your money. Do what you want with it. You don't want to pay your taxes, commit a bit of tax evasion. I'm gonna think you're an idiot, but it's still respect your decision to go with your gut. And on top of that, all the statements I make in this video will be my own opinions. So please do not burn my house down with me and my family inside if I say something bad about one of your favorite NFTs. And I'll explain NFTs real quickly for anybody who doesn't know about them yet. What they are is they're non-fungible tokens on the Ethereum blockchain, which in short means they're unique and special, like snowflakes or what someone will say to you when you're feeling depressed to make you feel better, as opposed to fungible, which would be something that's not unique and not special and very replaceable like Bitcoin or any girl inside of a Starbucks. So now that we're all caught up and on the same page about NFTs, we're all NFT experts in our own rights. We can tell our wives to get in the kitchen, fix us some food, and have some real menly chats about NFTs. So first off, the main reason why I hate NFTs, worst of all those NFT punks, special hate segment coming up on them later, is that they're nothing at all. I just think it's an awful idea to invest into something that's just letters and numbers on the Ethereum blockchain. They're, they've been compared to virtual trading cards, but what they really are is just a Google auto-generated strong password that it recommends you use when you make a new account. That's really all it is. <laughs> you shouldn't. I just think it's really stupid that you're paying for just jumbled letters and numbers. But, you know, at some point, it's got to get a little bit fishy on the other side of things because you got so many celebrities promoting it from like Logan Paul all the way over to Hollywood celebrities, like A-list big celebrities, you know, just overall big influencers on the internet promoting these NFT kind of things. And if there's one thing we've learned about celebrities is that they love making money through their gullible audiences. FaZe Clan definitely proved that to us very recently. And I'm going to take these off now and stop looking like a disappointed librarian and just continue talking about why I hate NFTs with a burning passion. Speaking of burning passion, it hurts when I come. Be sure to tell me in the comments though how much of a bang a pill I had with those glasses on from 1 to 10. 12s are acceptable. I'll provide you with a little example now of why I look at NFTs like a dementia-stricken old woman that's taking her last breaths. Nyan Cat, you know, the popular meme gift that went around forever ago, you know what it is. It went up for sale as an NFT. Not the GIF itself, not the copyright to the GIF, just the NFT numbers and letters token on the blockchain. It went up and it sold for 300 Ethereum. And you're thinking in your head, oh, that's probably not a lot. Well, look at this. 300 Ethereum, also known as $1 million. But I can show you how to get this for free. 100% no jailbreak in 2021. No virus. You go over here to where it sold out on the Foundation app. You see it sold for 1057300 Ethereum. Right click on it, save video as. I already saved it once, so I didn't mean to do that yesterday, but it will resave it again. Now I own it twice, and right here you go. Look at that. Look at that. Simple as that. I just saved you a million dollars. Can honey do that? And that's really the main reason why I despise NFTs. There's no physical satisfaction of making that impulse buy that you'll regret eventually. Like, if you bought a physical artwork for $1 million, that'd still be dumb, in my opinion. Paying that much for artwork of any kind is kind of steep. But at least you can point at it when guests come over and say, Yeah, you know, bought that for a million buckaroonies, a million clams. You know, I paid a million dollars for that. Even though the guests don't care at all because they never do, you can still flex on them and say, yeah, million dollar painting right there, ladies and gentlemen. I guess I'll never understand the appeal of buying a unique token on the blockchain that looks literally the exact same as any copy someone can just right click and save on their desktop. But hey, one reasonable argument would just be to support the artist, you know, support the person that made the NFT. And I... I guess, but no one does that. In my opinion, it's just something for rich people like on the level of the Squid Game VIPs to waste their money on, just to piss their money down the drain into something. Except, I guess in this, you don't have to get your nuts grabbed by an undercover cop. But if you thought Nyan Cat was the only ridiculously high-priced, non-fungible token, you are... 
Stupid! Beeple sold an NFT of a big collage of all his works for 69 million, plus he sold a bunch more for a couple million. Jack Dorsey sold the first tweet ever, which Jack Dorsey's the guy who made Twitter. He sold the first tweet on Twitter for 2.9 million. And CryptoPunk number 7252 sold for $5.3 million. And now if you just look at your screen, I own copies of all these for zero dollars. My means have yet to be declared as legal though. I believe now is the time for my hate parade on the NFT punks. It's just something about those 8-bit faces that pisses me off at a primal level. And yeah, also the amount Logan Paul has promoted them. I need your help. Uh, a couple months ago, I bought this CryptoPunk. This one's my favorite. I have a bunch, but I love this one. And I, got, I just got a bid on it for $632,000, which is insane for a JPEG. My question is this, do I sell it? for that price or should I hold? The best way I can describe NFT punks is that they're just 8-bit character faces with cool wacky different appearances that vary from character to character so you never know what you're gonna get and they're all so special they better come out of the screen and give me a hand job if I'm paying millions of bucks for a, an 8-bit character face they better give me some sloppy toppy. Let me just make my point crystal clear here look at this number 2338 looks like this and number 6275 looks like this. They're identical twins with different haircuts for roughly $10 million combined. You know, just a measly $10 million. But I decided to cop them in a bundle deal at a really good price. And there is no shortage of these minute changes in appearance between JPEG pixels that sell for literal millions of dollars. Does this not sound dumb to anybody else? Because it sounds stupid to me! It sounds ridiculous to me! Just look at these stats that they proudly boast on the front of their page on the home screen like they got a 12 inch cock or something on them. The lowest priced one is $355,000. Total sales is $1.47 billion. <sighs> I'm absolutely fuming out of my ears right now like a cartoon character. You just can't see it because I got headphones on. And that's about all for my racist rant on NFTs. There's more I could go into, but I don't feel like yelling. It's not very good for my mental health. I hate NFTs. I don't like them at all. I hope their families continue to have very good lives and continue to have good health. But them themselves, I wish Armageddon upon them. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.